Greetings all. This will be a be a belated video. I mean a belated um, video response of sorts to the YouTubers three and is Batman um, overrated as well as other characters. But I'm going to concentrate my um, most of my comments on um, Batman. And once again, I find myself doing a video response that's not so much a disagreement with other people's um, opinions. It's just a um, um, different perspective. Uh, and um, as it relates to um, Batman and what the YouTubers 3 seem to all be saying, in, albeit in slightly different ways, um, was that too much credence had been given um, over the years to Batman. In particular, um, the Bruce Wayne Batman. Um, in as much as Regardless as to how skilled he is, um, how knowledgeable he is on different subjects, and that he has the ability to make uh, um, um, things come forth um, as a result of the billions of dollars um, that he has accrued over over the years, um, he's still just a normal guy. He's still just a mortal man and as such should he be able to hang with other heroes such as his pals in the Justice League and other villains who are not particularly of his um, rogues gallery i.e. your dark side, your mongol, your armored up um, Lex um, Luthor, your um, Solomon Grundy you know, so on and so forth. So, um, to answer directly as to whether um, Batman is overrated, then the obvious answer is probably yes. Um, although, in my estimation, that does not bother me. Also, I think in, in the way that the um, subject was broached by these three gentlemen, um, I think it came down less um, to whether or not he's overrated, although, you know, that was the core theme. I think it was less about them talking about whether or not he was overrated and more about um, whether or not he was being treated realistically. And, you know, some of you might say that's kind of splitting hairs, like, you know, six of one, half a dozen of the other, or whatever. But um, I think that distinction um, um, is significant. Uh, because for me, um, the comics and their characters don't have to be uh, realistic. Of course, that's not why I got into comic books in the first place. Um, but not to go off topic too much um, sticking with the whole overrated deal even if you accept Batman as being overrated through my perspective I get why he is um, I understand why he is and I understand why DC as a whole does not restrain him any more um, than they feel they have to. And how I see it, they don't need to. Um, Batman, unlike characters like Conan, Tarzan, um, the Green Hornet, the Lone Ranger, um, so on and so forth, um, Batman is unlike those characters because those characters 
have survived the test of time. Uh, in Batman's case, he's thrived um, through his test of time. You know, um, I don't think any character in comics um, or pop or pop culture in general uh, um, is a bigger name in comics than uh, than Batman, with a possible exception of Spider-Man, and even then, I don't think so. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so to address how can Batman stand up against foes that are like you know would normally see Batman as being pretty much less than an insect to them um, the question that I would pose is that I would not try to get you to understand how he can stand up to dark side I would not try to get you to understand how he can stand up to Mongol and the other names that I mentioned previously however what I would suggest is <clears throat> if you share the same feelings that um, um, the YouTubers 3 as well as you know a lot of people in the comics community um, feel let's think about it this way why do you not hear that kind of argument that they pose to Captain America no one says anything about Captain America getting in the grill of Galactus. No one says anything about Captain America staring down Thanos. No one says anything about Captain America challenging Korvac. And to be clear, I don't have a problem with that. You know, um, I get the whole symbolism thing. You know, um, um, you get that whole kind of Captain America's wearing the nation um, as his costume. But, you know, Batman doesn't get that same kind of credit to me, um, in part, because his cape, you know, doesn't represent a nation. Uh... And I just think, when you look at the character as a whole, um, um, if there's any character that you're going to suspend your disbelief on, it's going to be Batman. If you look at the movies, um, say Die Hard or Lethal Weapon, um, there's no way that Riggs and McClane should be able to do the things that they're doing against the people they're doing it against but it's because of that suspension of disbelief and how it's handled that you kind of accept it on on its own terms you know and I feel that same kind of credence should be given to Batman but anyway that's just my point of view I hope um, there's others who will you know perhaps check this video out and give me your perspective on how you feel about it and um, I thank the YouTubers 3 for bringing this subject up. And uh, until next time, night out.